Brute force attempts are probably the simplest method to gain access to specific servers, specific places. All the hacker does is to knock on the door. It tries different credentials, one after the other, one after the other, using different methods as dictionary attacks and so on. Now, you can use a rate-based signature on your IPS engine to block those attempts. Let's see how we do it. All right, so we have our network with the DMZ interface where we have our server. So let's assume that we have an FTP server and we want to block um, different attempts to log in uh, in a very specific time frame. So let's move to security profiles, intrusion prevention, and let's create our sensor. Let's name our sensor FTP server. And here we will create this signature that will actually recognize the uh, brute force attempt. Now, we will use the brute keyword. So let's just use the brute keyword to find that specific signature fast. So here it is. Now let's add it and let's just configure the rate based settings. Currently it's default. Let's use specify. Now here is the number of attempts that is the number of login attempts throughout a specific duration. Now we can actually track it by source IP, destination IP. Let's keep it to any. And let's uh, just uh, add up 20 attempts throughout a 60 second period. And that will be our sensor. Now let's just edit it. So the action will be to block. All right. The next thing to do on our policy, let's just create our policy. So that is um, to DMZ and the incoming interface is actually from the outside. Our WAN interface, we can also do it using uh, the LAN interface whenever someone tries to access those servers from the inside. But let's just use this one with the uh, when interface to our DMZ, source is all. Destination, let's just create a new address for our FTP. So our FTP is actually at the 10.0.5.22 slash 32. And the interface is the DMZ. All right, so that's our FTP server. Service will be all. And in intrusion prevention, we will choose the FTP server. 